I'm Dr. Amira Ghazali, and I'm a general surgeon at Western Missouri Medical Center, and today we're talking about general surgery. I think a lot of people don't know what they are going to want in five years. For example, somebody who has breast cancer or a breast lump, they want it out and they don't care how it happens. But I know that in five years, you will care about the way your scar looks. And so um, breast surgery, for example, I try to always hide the scars. I can do special types of incisions or techniques where the incision is hidden um, in a place where it's not very noticeable. It's not right on the skin of the breast if it doesn't have to be. Um, so placing the incisions or doing special techniques of making incisions to help minimize scarring is something that I pay close attention to. I think that people want to remember a good experience and, and don't want big scars to show it. I do a lot of laparoscopic surgery and people are sometimes surprised at the size of things that we can repair laparoscopically. Hernias, for example, we can fix some pretty decent sized hernias with a laparoscope. So a series of small cuts around the abdomen rather than one big old fashioned cut um, and then you get your hernia repaired, it's great. Beyond scar techniques, there's a lot of advantages to laparoscopic surgery. Um, you can see more, you can check things out. Um, you know, while you're in there, I have frequently a patient who has a hernia, but also has, you know, pain in their pelvis and we're gonna look at the ovaries while we're in there. Or So the, the laparoscope has its advantages. You've got a wider view and um, a, a tighter, uh, more direct um, approach to a lot of problems. Staying active after surgery, within the rules that your surgeon gives you for activity, but staying mobile, staying independent, those are things that really help people bounce back faster. You gotta remind your body that you're a person and not a patient. And if you have that mindset and you, you wanna get better, we really see people doing better. They do a lot better if they get up and move sooner. Surgery is, it's a traumatic experience on the body and your energy levels tank after surgery. If you have an operation done, the energy required to heal from that operation, it can suck the life out of you. And if you don't eat well, and if you don't add that nutrition and add those protein calories back, you're gonna feel sluggish. I always say that the, um, the healing process will steal from your energy stores and you gotta refill those tanks. And eating, especially high protein foods after surgery is extremely important.